So we're here. It's windy. It's really bright out. And we're getting ready to pick up our third load for the week. It's crazy. Uh, but we'll tell you a little bit more about that and a trip to Philadelphia coming up right after this. Judy. And I'm Jim, and welcome to It's a Highway Vlog, where you get to travel the country with us, and you don't even have to leave the Liberty Bell behind. So while you're all enjoying that freedom, don't forget to like our channel, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, like our videos, give us a thumbs up, and definitely ring that notification bell. Yeah, don't do, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> so you won't you miss anything. You want to be notified. You yes. Seriously. Yeah, click the, yeah, just hit it. Good afternoon. Happy bright, uh, like really bright Wednesday. <laughs> Having to squint. Sorry about that. There uh, are some clouds up there though. Just yeah, the thank few. goodness. If the sun was out, I think we'd all be blind here in the truck. It's crazy. <laughs> but so, sunshine is good. Well, maybe. Unless it's hitting you right in the eyes. So anyway, we are, where are we at? We're in Kentucky. Yes, we are in Kentucky. We are in Kentucky. Um, we are actually getting ready to go pick up a load here at some point in time. Yeah, we just jogged over here from St. Louis. Yeah, uh, <laughs> jogged. Yep. We did run. Jog. We jogged. Uh, so anyway, um, what did we do this morning? Well, this morning was very, very simple. In yesterday's vlog, we sort of talked a little bit about we were at the shipper longer than we thought we would be. And uh, this morning, we arrived and we had to set for a little bit, but we were early. Yeah. And uh, we were actually unloaded two minutes after the time we were supposed to be there. <laughs> yeah, it was literally, we got there, what was it, about 7.30 our time 7.30, or yeah. And, and uh, well, it was earlier than that. Anyway, but we had to pick up at 8 o'clock their time. and uh, Delivered at 8 o'clock. Yeah, delivered. There you go. Delivered at 8 o'clock their time. And, uh, but they were out, at, they came out to get us about 20 till and <laughs> it was just like on and off. And, yeah, that it was, was awesome. It was crazy. They got us unloaded. And so, but that's something that Judy and I have noticed over the years. 
if there is a problem or an issue or just a long waiting time forever, loading yeah. or waiting for a load on either end, uh, so it goes both ways, then the other end will be the exact opposite. Yeah. I don't know if we've ever had a load where we had like issues on both ends. It just doesn't seem to happen, you know. Um, yeah. Like there's been loads we've been picked up, we've went through, you know, they've searched the truck, they've looked everywhere. You know, you have to sign your life away. Uh, you know, you, you have all these like tip and tails that are on the, the boxes where, you know, uh, if it gets shucked just one way, it'll, it'll send off some alarm or something. And, you know, they want you to pack the freight just so. And put the red straps on it, put the right Yeah, on it, just the right spot and everything else. You get the other end, they literally say, oh, thank you. And that's it, and you're done. Yeah. You take it off the truck and, you know, that's what the other thing we used to say about loads from California. We'd go through this and you have it on the truck for like three days and you sort of, you know, think it's yours. <laughs> and uh, you get to the other end and you're unloaded in five minutes. It's, it's so, it's just, it's almost... Anticlimatic yes. is what you always say. Anticlimatic. Well, no, anticlimatic, which you know, is a good thing. We've, you know? we've taken this load, we strapped it in, we secured it. It's been hours for three days. <laughs> we made it our own and we took care of it across country. You know, we babied it and made sure everything was going. And then we get there and they just take it from you. It's now. You can't have it anymore. So you can't talk to it anymore. No. You can't be close to it anymore. You just have to give it up. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just I don't know. It doesn't really feel right. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> of course, I don't know what we would do with it <laughs> if they let us either. keep it for a while. <laughs> Maybe they'll come out one of these and say, you know, you guys have grown so attached to this piece of freight, we're gonna let it stay on your truck for another day. And if you guys want to, you know, make sure you take time, spend spend some time saying goodbye. <laughs> Say your goodbyes. And <laughs> as a bonus, if you ever want to see where it went, then, you know, just come back. Anytime you can come in and see it. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't happen. You might have to go around the country for some of them, though, because we do just drop to warehouses where they divide it all up That's and true. go all over the place. That's true. We've had some interesting stuff. But, you know, anyway, we digress. Huh. Yes. You that. digress. I never digress. I always digress. I never digress. Uh, there was something I was going to say while you were just babbling on there, and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> babbling, babbling, babbling. It's windy. It's still windy. The wind's never stopped. Yeah. It's been windy since Sunday. It's yeah. still windy. Oh, last night I ran into snow over the mountains. Yeah. That was just not right. I, I It started raining, and then when I was coming through Pennsylvania, it decided that, it, that rain, and I looked down, and I looked up, it is snowing out there, and I looked down at the thermometer, and it said 30 degrees. Guess the rain turns to snow at 30 degrees. So I, guess I so. got, and my windshield wipers were not liking it. Uh, I was this close, or, well, I was this close to where I was gonna pull off to bang my windshield to, and get them taken care of, and then it started raining. So yeah. I didn't have to do that, which was nice. Yeah, we've seen some weird stuff. It was 45 degrees and snowing the other day yeah, in Chicago. Yeah, just so. crazy. And it's like it's April, of course. Back in the day, what was in April? We got a big snowstorm, yeah. and when we were in college, we we got like twenty some inches in April. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. That was just nuts too. Yeah. But uh, speaking of April, April, it is Organ Donation Month. Oh yeah. For those of you who may, I, I think this is getting slid under the radar, considering all the other stuff that's going on. And um, uh, you all know that I have a nephew who has received a multi-organ transplant and is a recipient of that and we are so grateful for all the, the families that um, donate and if you're not an organ donor please you know do that you save you can save up to eight people's lives that's life and then multi so you know multiply that I don't know how many times for just making people's lives better One. which is by skin or eye or you know anything like that right so, so. you can you can do that so jump on that good topic yeah it is a good topic it is it's a very good topic hey sorry for the interruption but if you're watching this and you're getting any any sense of enjoyment or entertainment out of this please like our channel subscribe hit the notification bell ring that notification bell or Don't. hit it Hit it. Either or. And now back to our regularly scheduled video. Sorry for the interruption, and you'll hear us talk at the end about this, and then we went ahead and did it. Ha ha! Editing. Scary. And speaking of that, which gives me throwing back to our load yesterday, because it reminded me, because uh, when Reese 
goes to the hospital or whatever, he always has he has to wear a mask. And right now he's not he's not oh, even yeah. getting out of the house. Um, can't and my sister's not leaving the house because she doesn't want to risk getting him infected. Uh, but speaking of that, the mask is what reminded me of yesterday when we picked up the place in Philly. Everybody had masks on, and they did ask us. If, if we, we had, had a mask. mask yes so right now if you're a driver out there you know try to make sure you if you get outside of the truck that you do have a mask with you because some of the customers are now require or asking or requiring that you have one right and my guess is if you don't they'll you know you just stay in the truck and, I guess and we but don't have them we have these we uh, have wherever they are squares of fabric that you sort of make into like a bandana like thing and you know it's over your face it looks like one of the old cowboy movies you know stick them up yeah and uh and so we had those on our face and yep. they were sort of a pain in the butt because it didn't really stay tied yeah, too well yeah they're not we got to get but, a safety uh, pin or something yeah we're gonna have to figure out know. a better way of fastening that and then today we we wore them also yeah, our yeah. Mask and also. today it was different though because we were in, of course um <laughs> it's always different yeah st louis or around st louis area and uh, the people who were on the dock were not wearing masks. No. But the people who were helping unload the freight were. Yes. And I believe that they go all over the place, and that's why they had their masks on. But um, we saw them, and we're like, eh, we're going to do it. Too. Yeah, it was an interesting thing. We hardly ever have this happen, but uh, they were actually brought in outside people to unload our truck. There was one piece of equipment on there that weighed probably 2,000, I don't know, 2,500 pounds. Yeah. It was really heavy. And it took three of us to push it off the truck. Yeah, and, and uh, social distancing didn't work in that case. Yeah, I mean, thank goodness we had the face mask things on. Yeah. So because yeah. we had to like push it out of the truck, but they actually hired these folks. These were actual movers uh, that they had hired to come in and help. Yeah, I and think they were from Atlas, weren't they? I think. I think so. I think I that's think what they were. Yeah. Um, and so we don't see that very often. Um, in fact, I can't ever remember that happening with us. No. Um, um, in the in before in the in a different company that we were shipping and uh, going back and forth from, they uh, would get another one of our trucks to come and help unload right. those things. Right, they would have the drivers come just to be extra hands and A feet. helper truck, you know, yeah. but uh, I don't think this, I mean, I just don't think they would have done that. They, the guy who set this up did a really good job. He'd stay, he was a good communicator with us and let us know what all was going on and stuff, so yeah. that was we really appreciated that and just just the difference in the sides of the country and how they were dealing with what's going on and uh the face masks and everything we just wanted to make sure everybody's updated and if you're at home i'm sure a lot of you are already have your masks if you go out in public but i know that's a recommendation right now um generally when i guess is my brain i don't think of being in public by going on to the dock or, right. or being with the dock because it's usually just generally but you're one around or two other people, people per you know, people it's not like going into a, a place that has like you know, walmart yeah like you know fifty hundred thousand people in it <laughs> that meant to be a hundred and then thousand <laughs> came out a hundred thousand right but anyway so. uh so uh, so if you noticed at the beginning of the video which i'll put those there <laughs> hopefully if not, then I've lost my You'll mind. You'll wait for another day. <laughs> we were, we had the, it was really neat because we don't go into the downtown areas of the big cities too much like we used to a long time ago, but we were in Philadelphia. Uh, we've been in downtown Philly before uh, several times. At the same customer, actually. Uh, and what, you know, the most interesting place we delivered there once, uh, and we drove right directly in front over the cobblestones in front of Independence Hall and got <laughs> weird looks by the park rangers. Yeah, he sees Independence Hall as Independence Hall. I see it as the Rocky movie. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But it was pretty cool to go down there. So those are those pictures at the beginning. It's been a while. There was no traffic, like none. Uh, it was just really, really bizarre because when we went in there, there is it would normally take you forever. Mm -hmm to get in and uh and so it was that's nice uh yeah. that's and that's the, what uh, the guy we were working with asked us he says are you sure you're going to be able to make it you know between here and there by you know the time they open and we're you know he says oh yeah you're not dealing with too much traffic mm -hmm. are you no he was he was <laughs> coming down the same road that we were going to be going in on he's like there's no traffic out here none yeah 
And so it was just one of those things. So anyway, there's your little video montage at the beginning. I like that word, montage. Montage, yes, yes. It was pretty uh, cool. Uh, yeah. It, it was. I wish. I do know. like going downtown cities sometimes. Not necessarily with the traffic and, and everything, but it's so cool to see the skylines and then right. get right on top of them where you, the buildings are, you know, yeah, it you was can't really, even get the, them in the camera because it's, it's so big. It's a pretty downtown. I mean, it, it's it's yeah, not bad. Really, it's really, yeah, pretty. It's really pretty. I like it. So. They got lots of the old buildings and the old architecture and then and the, new, the stuff. new stuff. Yeah. Yep. You got it all combined. It's pretty cool. So. Well, I suppose we should get out here about? and maybe yeah. start. Go to work. To, yeah, I don't know. Work. Uh, it, we, by the way, have had a rough week this week. <laughs> I don't know. This, is, this will be our, the load we pick up today is our third load, and we're so happy and fortunate. Yeah, we haven't done this for that. a while because no. we, we've deadheaded some miles in between our loads. So we basically, well, with the exception of yesterday, was not very much deadhead at all. But we've been we've been dropping off and picking up, dropping off, picking up, dropping off, picking up without any time in between, right? Or any time on the loads. Both loads were you know, we had to go, and we didn't have much time on either one of them. So right. that we're that we're not used to, folks. You know, no. after sitting last week, it's like working, <laughs> it's like oh my gosh. But again, we're not complaining. We're actually no, we're happy not. about the fact we're that happy. we're doing that, even though it sounds like. And hopefully, fun. it'll be picking up for everybody. So, but we'll see. Yep. yep. So. so, 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 everybody, I guess that's all for now. So we will see you in the next video. Watch, just, you know what you need to do. Just like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Do that. It's good. Yeah, I always forget to say that. We should say that in the middle sometimes. Well, you know? we probably should. We should. Interruption. Yeah. There's an advertisement. <laughs> we'll see you all in the next video. So long, everybody. Good night.